What's up everybody? In this question, we're given two functions, h of x is 4x minus 1, f of x is negative x squared minus 5x plus 1. We have to find f of h of 5x. So in this question, what we got to do, this is a function notation type of question. So we got to find first what h of 5x is. And then once we have h of 5x, we have an expression for that. We could plug it into f of x for all the x values. We could plug in that expression for all the x values. So we got to do it in steps. So you always want to start with the innermost function first. So h of 5x is going to be what? Well, on the side here, we know h of x is equal to 4x minus 1. So what's h of 2? Well, it's going to be 4 times 2 minus 1. We're plugging in 2 for the x. What's h of a going to be? Well, it's going to be 4a minus 1. So h of 5x, we're plugging in 5x for that entire x value there. So 4 bracket 5x minus 1. So basically, whatever's here, we're always plugging in for the x value in the bracket. So h of 5x is 4 bracket 5x minus 1. Or, sorry, the 5x is in brackets itself, and the minus 1 is outside. So basically, this ends up being 20x minus 1. That's what h of 5x is. So now we can find what f of h of 5x is. Basically, we're going to take this and we're going to plug it in for all the x values in f of x. So the way that works, so if we have f of x is negative x squared minus 5x plus 1, what's f of 2? Well, we're plugging in 2 for all the x values, so basically we plug in for that bracket. What's f of a going to be? It's going to be negative a squared minus 5 times a plus 1. So then following this pattern, what's f of h of 5x going to be? Well, instead of writing h of 5x, we could just write f of 20x minus 1. So we could plug in 20x minus 1 for all of the x values. All right, hopefully that makes sense. So basically, continuing this up here, let's actually rewrite it. So f of h of 5x is the same as f of h of 5x is 20x minus 1. And that's basically equal to, we're plugging in 20x minus 1 for all the x values in f of x. So negative 20x minus 1 squared minus 5 bracket 20x minus 1 plus 1. So here you would foil this out. So you'd have two brackets multiplying by each other and the negative is in front. And you multiply those two brackets, you would end up with 400x squared uh, minus 40x plus 1. That's if you foil these two out. And then that negative is still in front. So we're going to have to distribute it in the bracket. And here we could distribute the negative 5 in the bracket, so negative 100x plus 5 plus 1, like that. Distribute the negative inside the bracket, so negative 400x squared plus 40x minus 1 minus 100x plus 5 plus 1 is just 6. So collect all the like terms, negative 400x squared, that's by itself. Uh, 40x minus 100x gives us negative 60x, and then negative 1 plus 6 gives us positive 5. So that there is your final answer. That's what f of h of 5x is. All right, so a couple of steps. So what you want to do, start off with h of 5x first, get an expression for that, then take that expression and plug it in for the x values of f of x, which we did here and continued up there. And then you just want to simplify everything, and then you get your final expression.